Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we are going to go through the question and answers of the chapter Soil and Erosion, which is chapter number 6 from your Living Science textbook. So, let us start. So, there are some important points that we should remember from the lesson. Soil is foundation of all life on earth. The wearing down and carrying away of the soil is called soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? Wearing down and carrying away of soil. That is called as soil erosion. Erosion is caused by natural and human factors. I repeat, erosion is caused by natural as well as human factors. The protection of soil against erosion is called soil conservation. Very important definition. You have to remember this definition. What is soil conservation? The protection of soil against erosion is called soil conservation. Then soil is conserved by growing cover crops in plains, making terraces on hills and building embankments along river banks. Well, now let us see, tick the correct answers. The first question is wearing off or carrying away of soil by the action of water or wind is called. The options are storm, flood, soil erosion, deforestation. What is the correct answer? Right, soil erosion is a correct answer. So the wearing off or carrying away of soil by the action of water is called soil erosion. This may lead to soil erosion. What are the options? Terrace farming, growing of crops, or forestation, deforestation. So what may lead to soil erosion? Deforestation might lead to soil erosion. Let us see next question. Soil is mostly conserved by afforestation, deforestation, making dams or overgrazing. So how is soil conserved? The soil is conserved by afforestation. Fourth question. The Wangwo River which changes its course every year is in Holland, China, India or Sri Lanka. Well, your guess is as good as mine. The answer is China. Fifth question. Afforestation is a term which means felling of trees, overgrazing, growing trees or making dams. The correct answer is growing trees. Now let us see fill in the blanks. The first question is running water washes away soil of the options are hill slopes or plains. Then second question is dash artificial or natural forces like wind, rain and running water help in soil formation. This is your second question. So until I read all the questions, you have to guess the answers. Of course, I am going to tell you the answers. Third question, plants and trees hold the soil together by their, the options are roots or stems. And fourth question is, at places where strong winds blow, dash, the options are manure or seeds. Two E's are blown away along with the top soil. Now, let us see the answers. I hope you are right. The running water washes away soil of hill slopes. So what is the answer for first fill in the blank? Hill slopes. Then second is natural forces like wind, rain and running water helps in soil formation. The third answer is roots. The plants and trees hold the soil together by their roots. And fourth is at places where strong winds blow, manure. 2 is blown away along with the top soil. The 4 fill in the blanks is manure. Now, let us see match the columns. In column A, there is loss of soil, sorrow of China, then cutting down trees, protection of soil and planting more trees. And in column B, there is afforestation, deforestation, wangwo, soil erosion and soil conservation. We have to match column B to column A. So the answers are loss of soil matches with soil erosion, sorrow of China matches with Huangfu, cutting down trees to deforestation, protection of soil to soil conservation and planting more trees goes with 
afforestation. So this is a answer to match the columns. Now that we are done with the objective type of questions, let us see some question answers. So first in that is write short answers and in that the first one is what is meant by soil erosion? Well the answer to this question is the condition of wearing or carrying away of soil by the action of water or wind is known as soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? Condition of wearing off or carrying away of soil. It might be because of water or might be because of wind also. So that is what we call as soil erosion. Then second question is what is soil conservation? Now this is exactly opposite to soil erosion. What is soil conservation? The protection of soil against erosion is called as soil conservation. Third question is what is meant by afforestation? The process of growing more trees by planting saplings is called afforestation. So more the trees we grow, more will be the jungle, more will be the forest and this is what we call as afforestation. Then when is the Earth Day celebrated every year? The answer to this question is 22nd April. You will write Earth is celebrated every year on 22nd April. Then what do the three R's stand for? Well three R stands for reduce, reuse and recycle. So when we reduce the pollutants or we reuse the things and if we recycle the things then we can achieve soil conservation. Okay, so we have to reduce, reuse and recycle the things. Now, let us see long answer questions. So first in that is why do we say that soil is the foundation of life? Answer to this question is soil supports plant which provide food to all living things on this planet. Thus it is the foundation of all life on earth. I will repeat the answer. Soil supports plant which provide food to all the living things on this planet and thus it is foundation of all life on earth. Second question, how was soil formed from rocks? Here you will write, when earth was formed, there were only water, air and hard rocks. The sun heated the rocks, the rain made them cold and wind blew over them. This continued for thousands of years. As a result, the rocks broke into small pieces. These small pieces broke into still smaller pieces. They were carried ar around by wind and water. They rubbed against each other till they became tiny particles which we call soil. Okay, so lot of years have passed by in formation of soil. Well, third question is, how does water act as an agent of soil erosion? Well, heavy rains causes floods and flooded rivers and running water remove the topsoil. Running water washes the soil of hill slopes. This makes the slopes unfit for cultivation. Fourth question is why do some rivers change their course? The answer to this question is due to constant deposition of river, sediments on the slower side and the vast amount of erosion that takes place on the faster side, this process keeps on continuing till the curves get sharpened so that the river cuts through the curve and forms another path. Thus river changes its course. The example might be a Vangvo river. Fifth question, how is a main uh, man responsible for soil erosion? Well, how is man responsible for soil erosion? Roots of trees and plants hold the soil together. Felling of trees or deforestation is a major cause of soil erosion. When trees are cut down, the soil becomes loose and is easily carried away. Thus, human beings cause soil erosion by cutting down trees. I will repeat the question. Roots of trees and plants hold the soil together. Felling of trees or deforestation is a major cause of soil erosion. When trees are cut down, the soil becomes loose and is easily carried away. Thus, human beings cause soil erosion by cutting down trees. List the three ways by which soil can be conserved. So how can we conserve the soil? Following are the three ways by which we can conserve the soil. We can grow crops that is the cover crops like grass or creepers since the roots of this plant hold the soil. Then we can also cut the slopes into steps or terraces which can reduce soil erosion since the steps slows down the flow of water. 
and building embankment along river banks holds the water between the banks and also prevents the soil erosion. So these are the three ways by which we can conserve the soil. So the homework for you, you have to write down this salt exercise into your notebooks. Well, that was all from my side students. Stay home, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.